This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 14, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had the strongest solar flare of the entire current solar cycle. Sunspot AR3664 just unleashed the strongest solar flare of the current solar cycle. An 8, 8.78 category blast from beyond the sun's western limb. X marks the spot in this image of the flare from NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory. Because Sunspot AR3664 is behind the edge of the solar disk, the flare was partially eclipsed. It was probably much stronger than it appeared. 8.78 It's almost certainly an underestimate of the flare's true strength. Extreme ultraviolet radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing a deep shortwave radio blackout over the Americas. Ham radio operators, aviators, and mariners may have noticed a sudden loss of signal at all frequencies below 30 MHz. Subatomic debris from this event might soon reach Earth guided towards our planet by the Parker Spiral, i.e. our solar magnetic connection. Also, a coronal mass ejection may be in the offerings due to this connection or geomagnetic connection to our sun. Remember, our geomagnetic connection to the sun is to that limb. Yes, Earth is still connected to sunspot AR3664. Giant sunspot AR-3664 is no longer facing Earth. That makes it even more dangerous. The keratin-class sunspot is passing over the sun's western limb, a region of the sun that is magnetically connected to our planet. Indeed, we are feeling the effects of that connection right now. Take a look at this map of ongoing radio blackouts. Red zones in the map show where shortwave radio signals are being absorbed. Inside the Arctic Circle, frequencies below 30 MHz are almost completely blacked out, a nuisance for polar aviators and ham radio operators. What's causing this? Protons accelerated by solar flares in the magnetic canopy of AR3664 are following the Parker Spiral back to Earth. Think of it as a magnetic superhighway. The arriving particles are funneled by our planet's magnetic field towards the poles where they ionize the atmosphere and interfere with the normal transmission of shortwave radios. This polar cap absorption event could last for days, especially if it is boosted by more flares from any of the sunspot groups. Actually, we just had a significant solar flare after this X flare from the newly named sunspot group AR3680 that just came around the limb and will take 12 days to transverse the Earth-facing side of our solar disk. Now, I'd like to show you what they mean about our geomagnetic connection and our Parker spiral connection. So, ladies and gentlemen, over to the Goodard Iswa spiral that has not been updated before today in 13 or 14 days. This is an update of the X class solar flare you can see moving towards the northern part of the spiral here. Now, we also have plasma inbound for what looks like the 14th, 15th, and 16th from some of the other solar flares. They have modeled that as well. They have the X flare moving up. But what they're talking about as far as 
an earth component are these ropes that are black and white. These are our geomagnetic connections to the sun. And earth here in yellow, you can see, is connected to that far side limb right where that X 8.78 solar flare popped off with obviously a chrome mass ejection as you see here on our Parker Isla spiral. This is the Parker spiral effect, this geomagnetic rope connection to that far limb. That said, folks, expect more X flares. We've had three today already, and we have new sunspots being named that are already producing M flares. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.